Hello, my name is Fernando Serra from Teller and Delta. I'm here today, today to introduce you to our new product, the BOA IDR. It's a general purpose uh, small vision system that allows you to do uh, barcode reading to the matrix barcode in uh, OCR uh, for most industrial applications uh, where you require uh, identification of the product before it leaves the production line. So this product can be usually used in applications where you have a code that identifies uh, pharmaceutical, automotive part, or just any general manufacturing. Uh, I'm going to show you um, a quick example of how the product works. Uh, once you start the uh, IDR with a browser, uh, basically you start a new application. Uh, what the new application says, you got images coming uh, through the IDR and uh, you adjust your sensor. So at this point, you pick um, you know, good intensity, uh, good contracts of the image, and then once that's set, you go ahead and um, you take an image of a good bottle, or uh, in this case, or a good product. Um, there's four basic tools that you see here. We have the 2D matrix, the barcode, and then the um, optical character recognition, or OCR, and then the uh, pattern matcher. Um, it's as simple as if I pick this two-dimensional code, you put the tool set, and if I expand on the tool set, uh, you can see that the, the software auto detects and the codes that 2D metrics, which basically points out to our website, um, you can dig down into more details of, um, you know, for hard to read codes, uh, whether you want uh, scoring, uh, what kind of an F4 you do. Um, so there's a lot of flexibility on that point. Um, once you have that, that's accepted. Um, same thing with the linear barcode. Uh, you pick up the linear barcode. Um, you highlight it with a region of interest and automatically detects what it is. It's, um, it detects is a UPC code. Um, we have a whole variety of all standard uh, open um, codes uh, so you can detect and read any of them. And same thing, you can also dig down into you know, the effort level to read it in case the, the barcodes are uh, hard to read, uh, a little bit damaged. Uh, and what the timeout is. Uh, as you can see, as I'm building the application, right below is telling you I have a, a 2D metric tool and a barcode tool. Uh, the next one is optical character recognition. Um, I can highlight this uh, region of interest that has a character set. Um, right click on that and it gives me the optical character tool. I'm going to train a new set here and say add these characters and then I'm going to select uh, black characters on white background. It auto detected four characters and I can tell them what they are. Basically one, two, three and I'm going to do shift A for uppercase A and say add those and now I have a library of those characters. So if I go back to the main tool it automatically reads the, uh, those characters. Uh, once I accept it, now you can tell that I have, again, three tools, a 2D matrix, a barcode, and an OCR tool. Um, I can, to the control, I can communicate any of those results to any one of these protocols, uh, Rockwell, um, Mitsubishi, um, GE Fanux, and all other uh, industrial protocols. And at this point, I can pretty much go to the run screen and actually capture the images and you'll see that it, it reads uh, the values. Um, you can change the tolerances by actually seeing the text in there. And all these data could be saved uh, to a main controller for quality control. Just like as well, I can create different user um, abilities so that for uh, protection as far as passwords so that for traceability of pharmaceutical or any specific manufacturing. Um, so as you can tell, it's a very easy product to set up, uh, very flexible. We can set as many boxes as you want in the screen and, um, and very to, uh, simple to apply uh, to the question. 
Um, any more information on the product, you can always visit our website at www.teledyne.com and we'll be all glad to give you more information.